one of the other guys that is one of their best players, second best, third best, whatever the case may be, is DeMontis Sabonis in the last two games. Um, he hasn't had these, you know, great games numbers wise. And and even just in real life, like I don't think he's played great. I don't want to, you know, sugarcoat it or anything like that. Um, is there something that needs to be watched with that in your opinion? Like, are you feeling some type of way about uh, the last two nights we, we've seen him play kind of below his, his, his average? Yeah, there was only one aspect of last night's game with Sabonis that was completely unacceptable to me, and I'll get to that in a second because, like, even even in the Warriors' loss, like he didn't play well. And again, you want to see against any team, like there, no team more than the Warriors, you want to see Demonte Sabonis play well and kind of make a statement. And he's played decently so far against the Warriors so far this season. I think he played pretty well, if I'm not mistaken, in the home opener, which of course the Kings lost, but. I think, I mean, he fit, still finished with like 10 assists, eight or nine boards. And uh, I, I know he didn't, so it wasn't like his normal double-double numbers and things like that. Look, every player is going to go through a, a tough spe- uh, spell and 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 it's okay. Like I, I'm not, every time Sabonis has a bad game, I'm not going to go like, you need more Sabonis. You can't like, sometimes players are going to have bad nights. The only unacceptable aspect of last night's game to me was that Zubats completely outplayed him. That is unacceptable because to me, that has nothing to do with the numbers that you're putting up in your struggles. That has everything to do with you're not putting in the effort. Like Zubats completely outplayed him, was getting anything he wanted in the paint offensively. <laughs> was like, was he out rebounded Sabonis? Uh, I don't know if their assist numbers were comparable. Certainly, Zubats had more blocks than Demontis Sabonis did. Like Zubats is a journeyman, solid, average starting center in the league. Demonte Sabonis, you are an all NBA center, even on a night where you're not scoring well, or you're not grabbing a lot of boards. Like I need you to at least minimize the opposing center that you're playing, especially if that opposing center is not a all-star caliber center. Like if, if you're beaten by a, like a Nikola Jokic on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's Nikola Jokic. It's, it's one of the best centers in the league. A Joel Embiid. Sure. Even a Bam on a bio from time to time. All right, fine. But a Zubats, even when you're struggling, you cannot get beaten down as bad as DeMontis Sabonis was last night. Well, don't get beaten down, Domas. Yeah. Do we overanalyze Domas' bad games? We collectively, meaning you, me, all of us, everyone watching, listening. I th- I think... I think so in the sense that when it feels like when Domas is having a bad game, De'Aaron Fox is put on an island. And when De'Aaron has to do kind of everything himself and go into everything himself mode, we look at the entire roster, right? We could question, hey, Kevin Herter, why weren't you hitting your shots? Man, if Keegan Murray's been struggling from three-point range this season, like there's different aspects from this roster that you can point to, but immediately you go to the partner in crime, the other all-NBA player, the the, the second best player on this roster, and you look at, hey, your star, your, your number one guy's doing this, where were you? So I think that's kind of natural, to, to, to naturally kind of look at Sabonis and overanalyze Sabonis. And, and I actually had a segment on last night's podcast where in, in the spirit of holiday, the holidays, I was asking the audience, like, tell me if I'm being too much of a Scrooge or if I'm being fair. And that conversation that I just had about DeMontis Sabonis came up because I feel like I would be being a Scrooge if I was upset about Sabonis having a bad night on the second night of a back-to-back. Because again, bad nights are going to happen. But I don't think I'm being a Scrooge with losing your assignment as bad as, as Sabonis did against a player that it's unquestionable that he's better than. That's not as fair. That's fair. And you expect those things um, from Domas, but to our original point, you know, it's, it's, it's one game yep. uh, at the end of the day, Domas is going to be putting up close to 20 points and 12 rebounds a night. And I bet the next time he sees Zubak, I think they play, like a week it's or gonna so. get these hands <laughs> <laughs> right it's gonna be there's gonna be some work given out yeah. so um yeah i i agree i think we we overanalyze it uh for whatever reason one of the reasons why i said that earlier um matt and tell me what you think is domas's game isn't centered around scoring so much his ball distributor his best trait some would say his passing i think it might be his rebounding um, but hell scoring might be his third best trait, huh. you know, and 
you know, people don't really look at that. They look at all NBA. They seem to do this with Draymond for whatever reason. He gets to be really good at one thing and garbage at everything else. But they, they don't do that for Domas. They don't say, oh, he's a great rebounder or a great assist guy. But, you know, where's his 25 points per game? They don't do that for him for whatever reason. No, I agree with that. And I I, I do think that, like, Domas's value is so far beyond just scoring. And, and that's where... That's where I had the biggest issue with the arguments against him and the center tier lists and the most overrated player nonsense that we saw coming out of Bleacher Report and crap like that all offseason long because it's focused on scoring. And I understand the NBA is a scoring league and the points column is the first column we all look at when we look at a box score. It's just natural. But if you actually watch Demonte Sabonis play, you know that his impact on a game is getting everybody's scoring column to look better than his. Like that's what he does. That's that. That's what makes him the best. Too sometimes to a fault. Sometimes where it's like Domas go, go up, man. He, like he'll pull down an offensive board and he'll be looking around for who's on the uh, who's open on in, in three point range for the kickout. Like where's Kevin? Where's Keegan? And I get it, but also like Domas is capable of getting his. I was fr- the only thing with Domas that I was really frustrated about in the Warriors win was that. Like he, he did not get outplayed by Kavon Looney. Kavon Looney barely did anything in that game, and I'm pissed because I I I needed one more assist from Kavon Looney to actually uh, win on Prize Picks. But that's a different Selfish. story for another time. How dare Kavon Looney? The one time I need him to do something, he doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> but Domas still passed up. He was still a little hesitant on taking those mid range jumpers, and I just like ah, just take that shot, just take it. Like and and to me, it's just that's the Warriors being in his head still a little bit, and that's it's natural. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Other than that, like I did not have that big of a problem with anything Domas did on Wednesday, even if I know, uh, was it Wednesday? Yeah, even yeah. No, no Tuesday, no, Tuesday, okay. even if I know it wasn't his best game. Mm-hmm. And then again, last night, the main problem that I had with Domas was just him 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 being beaten down uh, by his assignment. So. Mm-hmm. I, I think we do overanalyze Domas and and we we focus too much on the scoring aspect of things when what he brings to this team and, and the, the irreplaceable element of Sabonis is what he does for everybody else, which is to us who actually watch the Kings obvious, but to so many people who don't watch the Kings, who still write about the Kings, seem wow. to think that Sabonis isn't doing enough or isn't good enough for the all NBA label. 